Oh crap. I'm gonna die. Let's just fire upwards. to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads hey guys and welcome back to seven days today alpha 18 so as you guys can see we are about to face the horde i'm gonna put the turret here i hope it shoots down into the crevice of here and then i'm gonna face the zombies between this room and that room this is hope they don't jump onto the roof of here like the spider zombies and try and get in at least we have 13 molotovs we have iron spear we have a pistol and we have a machine gun and then we also have the iron bow uh, crossbow and wooden bow Hopefully these things are enough to really face these zombies. I should have actually placed spikes underneath so I can slow them down. Because the way it stands now, I can't see them. Come on, run into this place. It's right open there. I just hope they don't cave this place in. That's really going to suck. Oh, wow. From there, I just thought I'd fall into, uh, fall into the hole versus this thing over here. You know, where are you guys? Outside. Inside. Come on, turret. Shoot down. Can I even see these zombies? I hope so. Let's hope they can break the floor underneath me. I don't want them to cave in my fires or anything like that. I want to be able to see them straight down. And then let's see if I can chuck this at that guy. And I just set two guys light. Nice. It's a shame that the zombies running through that fire doesn't also get set alight. Look down. He's right there. Nope. Okay, so hello there. I wonder if I can throw a Molotov down at them like that. I should be able to use the roof, but like I said, if there's a spider zombie out there, I am screwed. Now we have this gun. Hello, hello, hello. I see you there. Come on, I need a few of you guys on this side. If I can get a few of you and I can set your light, then that is a bonus. Oh, now where are you starting to break in through? You're over there. I don't want to waste too much ammo. If we fall down, we have a ton of ammo to defend ourselves with. Okay, so let's just try and see if we can throw a little bit of skew over there. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Drink. I thought I might be able to set them alight that way. Damn it. That was an epic fail. If it wasn't for that wood block that I placed there, I would have been able to do this. Nice. Hello. Yeah, shoot down. Shoot down. You know what? Let's just pick that back up. And place a little bit closer to them. So they can shoot down at them. Okay, that's 2000 XP. Thank you. Hopefully this ward ends soon. So we can focus on killing the other zomb uh, zombies and doing the quest over here. I should actually bake this uh, block over there and then try and go in there myself. That way at least I know I'll be able to kill a few of them because they're trying to break through here. So if I can throw a Molotov in there, that's going to help me. And now where are you guys? I want all of you to try and destroy this block right underneath me. And then I can throw a Molotov down there and burn you all. Come on. Let's see if I do this. If it actually invites them more. Just going to stand here like this. And then I can throw down. Nice. Nice. I don't want to kill them with, uh, while they're still burning because the fire does kill them. So it's just a waste of ammo at the moment. I want to try and use my ammo as sparingly as possible and then get the most out of this. I can't afford to keep running out of ammo every single horde. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I was busy reloading there, but I mean, getting three zombies with one shot, that's well worth it. And then all the zombies here? Nope. They're all still over here. Come on, I want to be able to see you guys. I just hear them dying and I level up. Nice. Technically, what I should be doing is this. So I know I don't fall in. And then while I'm doing this, let's just see what else I can buy over here. Now, intellect, we have what we need at the moment. Better barter? Yeah, we need better barter. But I don't know if I want to do this. Get a 5% better deal buying and selling merchandise. Uh, so that's not that important at the moment. Um, agility. What else? Deeper cuts. Blade weapons like knives and machetes. So I wonder if the spear counts as bladed weapon. So that should do more damage then. Specialized for using... This does what? 10% more damage. Handcraft quality 2. 
But over here, strings. No, no, no. We need the javelin master. Thank you. Um, we need another lucky looter, but first that's going to require perception over here. Damn. Okay, so I just wasted a little bit. And another javelin or a lucky looter. Let's go for lucky looter first. Oh yeah, please don't tell me you're starting to break in without me noticing. That's really going to put a damper on things. I shudder to think how much damage they've caused underneath already. Let's just stand over here. See if we can see them down there. If they all can huddle up over here, we'll, we'll be set. Okay, there are zombies over there. Hello, lady. Hello, you guys. And throw it right there. That should set all of these alight. Nice. Okay, we do still have an AK, and this gun has barely worked. So I wonder. I'm going to reload this gun, and then just drop him downstairs. I didn't want to drop him downstairs, remember, because then we can't pick it back up until morning. But this guy is going to help us quite a bit. So we're going to do this. And then while that thing is killing, we can go this side. So it draws attention and doesn't force it to destroy our turret over there. We can't afford to lose that turret. Nice. One down. With a pistol at least. Oh, they are trying to break up over here, I think. Yeah, hello. Uh, it's awesome to see how they're going for the walls. They're not just trying to stack on top of each other, they're trying to break your whole base. Yeah, I need to get his head back before I shoot again. Okay, he's dead. Hello, lady. There's definitely way more zombies this time, and I think it's because it's been a while since I've actually died. At least we know we're going to level up nicely in this episode. Okay, please don't tell me you've destroyed my turret. No, you have not. Nice. But what I want to do... Is make a hole over here. Right in the middle. I want to be able to see what's going on underneath. Ooh, there's a bag right there. Oh, I still want to go down for it. But I can't afford to go down there and then die. Hello, zombies. Where are you, zombies? It sounds like they're wrecking my walls like crazy. Okay. So I just, just barely made that shot. I almost exploded in my own face. And then, yeah, hello. Let's just use this one a little bit again. We know this one is quite powerful. Okay, four shots because it was body shots. But other than that, it really does pack a wallop. I should really take out this block of here. So I'm able to see in the corner what they're doing. Um, I don't want to take out too much and then have spiders jumping up here though. So we need to be careful of that. Oh, wow. Just look at this damage over here. Uh, throw. And nice. We just got a ton of them. And my aiming sucks. At least they're on fire now, so that's one less thing to worry about. They're all going for the same blocks, it seems. They're working their way up through the walls. This place is definitely in a cave soon. We need to find ourselves a better base, I think. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Thank you. We cannot afford to worry about dogs later on. But they're definitely caving in the walls, guys. We need to be seriously careful over here. The more of the walls they destroy, the worse it gets for us later on. The structure of the integrity of this place is failing fast. I should actually see in town what building is strong enough to house us. And our zombies over there. Hello. Yeah, I see you. Thank you. And there's a footballer underneath. Those guys already fast and now I have to worry about them being sprint fast. Come on. I want to be able to see you guys. I should be able to go out on the terrace of here but the problem is if they cave that in I'm stuck downstairs. Okay. We are leveling up nicely at least getting all the skill points we need. So next skill point we're going to get is in javelin. I want to see if I can craft my own already. So there's Molotov over there. Please tell me it connects. Thank you. That was a ton of zombies I just hit with that one. Okay, there seems to be... No, oh, I thought there might be zombie legs over there. I want to loot this bag. I wonder how many bags are already down there. I want to see if the old defense that I did one time works. The one I thought was a little bit of a cheating. Where they walk on half blocks to get to your base and then fall down. I wonder if that still works or if they just straighten up go for your walls. That might be a nice test.
Okay, so I managed to kill one at least. That was such an awkward point to shoot from though. Come on. Oh, there's a zombie over there. I wonder how many are left. The turret's not firing anymore, so I'm guessing it's empty. Just please don't break my turret. You know what? I think it's about time we go down. Well, not down. Outside. Because by now, we should be able to see them more or less better. So we don't get too much lag from this. And then also, we're going to use the rifle over here, or the machine gun, to kill them. I can't afford for them to go for these pillars, so I need to watch out. Hello. And on your ass, in your head. Nice. I've seen a ton of guys play this game, and for normal zombies, they get 1.1 XP. So I wonder what XP modifier they're using. Remember, guys, at the moment, I'm playing time is 150%. So instead of just 100% loot, we get way more. Or rather, XP, not loot. I'm not mistaken, loot is still set to 100%. I don't want to cheat when it comes to this game, but the XP I said higher because you are already leveling so slow. Now imagine you actually level with normal means. Thank you, there you go. Was that the last one? I'm not hearing anything else. And I didn't actually waste that much ammo. Nice! I can't believe I survived this. Okay, so do we have iron? No, we don't. Um, I wonder, if we scrap this we get steel, right? But what if we put it in the forge? How much iron do we get for that? So at the moment, we don't need steel. I think we're going to need steel if we make the motorcycle. Let's just make sure of that. Motorcycle, chassis, resources, and steel. Whoa, we need 30. So I think, no, no, no. I'm going to hold on to the steel for now. <laughs> if it's that hard to come, I imagine later on when you need to get by it. Okay, so I'm going to put the Molotovs for now upstairs. We don't need it anymore for now. Uh, food, the no, water is doing fine, let's just see food. Damn, I need to make myself some more food. Or find more canned food, because at the moment, I don't really have a variety of food. Okay, repair kit, I'm going to use on my pistol. Since we're only going to be using the pistol outside. Now, since it is still ward night for another two in-game hours, I'm going to uh, keep my machine gun on me, because we can't afford to die. So if a zombie attacks me, I'll be able to kill it, or defend myself at least. Now this, it's a shame that this isn't the dirt one, there's a, a gravel mod as well, but well this does, I think, let's see, 14.32, 15.34, and block damage goes up. So hopefully this helps us a little bit with what we want to do, but for now, we can actually place this motorcycle downstairs, oh you can't, you have to be downstairs to be able to place it. And let's just place it in a way that I'll be able to drive out should I want to. And then we need to... Yep, this is empty like crazy. Loot. Ooh, not bad. Recog, though, I'm not going to use because that has serious side effects. But guys, look at this. The walls are almost completely gone. So the structural integrity on this is over. For the next horde, I might just have to use that house again for one time. And then hopefully by then we have another base to use. At the moment, we're going to die if we try it. We can't afford to, uh, to spend one more night over here, unless I put a ton of spikes over here that I have to run through the spikes to get to the walls. Or just fill up the walls myself and upgrade them. Then at least I'll be good for another one or two wards. But other than that, damn, they did a ton of damage to this place. Okay, so we're going to go for that buried treasure over there. Please tell me I have a ton of food though. Mining, at least the um, mini bike does have a light. So that saves a little bit of time and effort. And since I restarted the game... Oh no, I wouldn't say I'm not getting a lag anymore, but I'm definitely getting lag still. Is this iron? Aw, it kind of looked like iron. But I think this is lead, isn't it? Let's just see. Yeah, that sucks. That really got my hopes up just now. I thought finally I got to myself some iron. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Let's just find where this is. Okay, so we're going to stand back. We're going to do this. And we're going to defend ourselves like this. So if a zombie comes, we're going to be able to hear it because the thing is going to actually fire at them. Look straight down. I've seen a lot of people use this trick that I've been using for years, but they dig there. You're supposed to dig right underneath you for this to work. And even then, it's not guaranteed, especially in Alpha 18. Because it could be in any direction for like 5 meters. And I'm right on top of it. What are the chances? You can see the Mississippi and White River. Oh crap. 
I'm gonna die. Let's just fire upwards. Reload, reload, reload. What is this? I'm stuck in a hole. Was that a wandering horde or what? That was terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying. Uh, what? Buried stash. But why is it still there? Isn't it supposed to disappear? I wonder if I mark this. Will it respawn? Oh well, no, I turned loot respawn off so it's not even uh, going to happen. Okay, so now we can go back to the base and make sure we drop everything we need to drop and then go back to the trader over here and accept another quest. We could technically go for both traders, accept quests from both, but that one still has an outstanding quest of clearing over there. So I should technically quickly go clear that as well, but first, that is the northwest. It's up to the northwest. So if I can get my next quest from this trader to be in that direction, I can do both of them. And then also we need to go for this drop. There might be like a gun or something inside there. Okay, that really creeped me out. That was so close. Okay, so I got super, 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 super lucky just now. Where's my bike? Okay, and back to the base quickly. Damn, I cannot believe my luck, guys. I almost just died. Like, it was so close. I don't know if it works now that if it's st still Horde night, you still get random hordes like the Horde. But I mean, that might have just been normal zombies in the area hearing commotion or hearing me dig and coming for me, but still, that was way too suspicious. Okay, so the iron shovel, we're going to keep it on us just in case we get another quest like that. Food, we need to make sure that we are eating a ton. And then let's just quickly drop everything we don't need. I should probably be taking the antibiotics with me just in case we get infected, but for now I really don't think that's going to be a tr uh, problem. And if we get infected, we have the minibike, we can get back to the base quickly. I hope. I hope I'm not just jinking myself now. This is cornmeal. I actually got quite a bit of resources just now. Nice. We just need an iron supply. But I just don't know where I'm going to get one of those. Okay, so we need the stun baton, the lockpicks, the hunting knife, and a wrench. Are we going to need a wrench though? We don't need any parts from the cars right now. And we do have a full tank of gas. I think when it gets below 50%, we'll go for gas again. Otherwise, it's just going to be a waste. Now, we have the shovel of yeah. Let's just make sure we have more or less all the weapons next to each other. That can stay up there, and then this over here we drop. Okay, so we're ready to quickly go to the trader and hand it in, but the problem is the trader is still closed. So we might want to go to a place further away, like this one. No, we can't. We still have an active quest. So that's not going to help us much. We need to be able to get there because it only opens 5 minutes past 6 in the morning. So we might just going to have to loot this over here. That's the hotel. Let's go over here. There seems to be something else over there on that road. So we're going to go and see if there's a ladder to this place. If not, we're going to go for these buildings. And then we're going to go to the trader as soon as we are able to. The mini bike is that side. And also, as you guys can see, I put away my machine gun. For a moment, I thought I had more zombies. I put away my sh uh, machine gun for now because I want to save that for the hordes. I definitely want to save that for the hordes. Although... I could technically go into this place next door with all the resources uh, over there with a bear since I have my machine gun. But I, just, I don't know if it's going to do enough damage to it to really do anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just remembered. We can go for this. That should uh, be about 5 past 6 that we get to there and back. Okay, so the hotel doesn't seem to have any ladder going up. But there might still be something on the roof. We'll check that out later. I gotta say, I actually love the minibike light because it's so bright, but I also hate it at the same time because I really thought I found iron ore. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Okay, so what's this over here? That's a random POI, but we can still go for it since we are in the area. I mean, why not? We are here, so we can just as well. Okay, let's go in there and see. Perhaps we find some better loot. We actually need to find ourselves better spears and stuff. Hopefully with Lucky, lucky Loot to level 2 now, we're going to be able to do that. Last time I was in a place like this, there was a dog down there waiting for me. So what I'm going to do now, let's just do that. Place in the other room. Oh, come on. Like so. Just so we can hear the zombies come. I love the fact that this is almost like a siren. It uh, alerts you when zombies are in the area. You can defend yourself easier. Okay, do this. 
Hello? Okay, so that just wasted a shot. Wasted some ammo. But rather throw and miss than having not thrown and then you had to have thrown. Okay, so I have my... Um, how much is this going to take? It's actually going quite fast. So I wonder if I shouldn't, since I have the stamina, go for it. Because later on we are going to have to start thinking of upgrading our walls to proper defense. I can't believe the amount of damage the zombies are doing to the wood walls. Medical pile, thank you. That was weird. Okay, now we're going to do this. And there's nothing on top of here, but there are cupboards. Nice, we just found some more stock. I need as much food as possible to be able to face all these zombies. Okay, we're going to put this up here. It's going to shoot upwards. Oh, there you are. I didn't even notice you back there. And it's not even firing at the zombie because the zombie's too close. That's bad. What if the zombie was any closer? Now, cobble. I should also technically take the cobble. Because later on we're going to have to be able to make cobble walls and stuff and upgrade from there. I mean, I always skip to reinforce concrete. But since you don't get concrete mixed from these blocks anymore, you have to start small. Okay, please tell me this isn't where the special loot and the, oh, most of the zombies are because at the moment that's protecting me from upstairs. Okay, so it's a good thing there's no zombies yet. Let's just quickly loot this. I don't want to be too loud and have all the zombies descend on me, so that's why I'm crouching like this. Oh, I forgot to take my pick. Okay, so when we go to the trader, we need to stop by the house again and quickly grab the pick. Because when we get to a place that's going to require beating on steel, the stone axe is not going to cut it. Okay, let's see what you have for me. And repair kit, nice. And medicine cabinet, nice. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, there's a cop up there. If I'm not mistaken, I was in one of these places before and there was definitely a cop. He uh, puked at the ladder over here and it destroyed most of the place. Now, where are the zombies? I need to crouch as much as possible. Make as little as possible noise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to get to this corner over here. If I can get a view of the whole room, I should be able to set up my turret over here to do most of the damage. There you go. He's going to see that zombie over there. Please tell me you see the zombie. Nope. Okay, so let's just get the attention of the zombie then. Like this. Thank you. Now, you're going to be in the view of the turret. Tell me you are. See, I always throw it a little bit too late. But I'll rather throw it and make sure that it's dead than not do it. And then be screwed later on. Okay, so let's see. Please, more schematics. Compound bow, thank you. Wooden bow, thank you. At least I am getting awesome schematics from looting these places. That is epic. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to move this back up. So we can cover this door over here. And then we need to break through over here because there is stuff behind here. As you guys can see, there's a purse. Oh, what's on that side? Another cupboard. Just some trash. But there could be ammo in the trash. That's why I'm looting it. Oh, yes. See, lockpicks. We need the lockpicks. Are there any zombies in here? Nope. Okay. Remember, guys, you can defend yourselves. Oh, there's a bag right there. It would be awesome if I don't have to break into any of these, but this one, unfortunately, I can't manage to reach because I'm too close to the wall. You can defend yourself by crouching into the wall like this because the zombies struggle hitting down. Yeah, please don't tell me you're going to follow me from behind. That's really going to be crappy. Okay, the zombies are upstairs. Whatever are left in this building are definitely upstairs. And then we need to grab all these potted plants to make sure we can get as much clay as possible without having to go dig for it. I can't wait until we find a hotel with all those pot plants because that's really going to come in handy. Unfortunately, it seems there's so few cupboards to loot in here. Ooh, knuckle wraps and stone spear. The stone spear actually wants to try and sell because it looks like a, gr a good enough quality to sell. Now... Uh, we are encumbered a little bit. So let's just eat and drink and make sure we are full. That way we also clear ourselves a little bit of inventory space. And then this helps with heat, doesn't it? No, it's still way weaker than the other one. Okay, just going to do this and let's go. I have a level 3 wrench. Nice. Just noticed that.
Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Help me, help me, help me. Thank you. Let's do this. It's nice that it shoots from so far away. So it starts doing damage, then I just have to add the damage. Like so. Ooh, something came up. Or something's coming up, rather. I wonder if it's outside behind that door. At least then I'll... Yep, it is. At least then I'll have a chance of facing it. Steel sledgehammer, thank you. Now I just need the steel, which is super, super, super expensive. I need the chairs as well, thank you. And let's go see what is trying to break in over here. Hello, bye-bye. Okay. So once again, the last swing is a little bit late on my part, but at least it does the trick. Now we should be able to go to the trader and get another quest. And remember, we said it has to be in the north east side, if I'm not mistaken. That one is north. Yep, northeast. Oh crap. Vulture, vulture, vulture. Thank you. Okay, so I barely noticed that vulture. Damn. I just heard, well, I mostly heard it, but I saw the wings just in the corner of my eye. Wow, this thing does a quick job. <laughs> I wonder how fast the purple one is. Now the bike is on this side. I just need to stack up a little bit so the zombies can't get me while I'm busy with the inventory over here. But I don't think that's going to be all that important because the zombie's far away. And even if he saw me, like I said, he's far away. It's going to take his time to get to me. Okay, so everything we don't use, we're going to drop in there for now. There's no use keeping rotting flesh and barrack stuff on you. Stone axe we keep, that we don't keep. Ooh, guys, look at what I just noticed. Rocket launcher schematic. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to go to the trader quickly, which is right there. And see if we can get one from the northeast side. Trader is which side? Which side? Which side? Turn back. Sorry, zombie, I can't hang with you right now. I need to do this quickly. Oh, wait. We came in this direction for, those, for that drop, didn't we? So since we are so close, we're just quickly going to get that first and then we're going to go to the trader. I mean, we are in the area. What's the point of leaving this behind? And I can finally take this off the map. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Radiation zone. What the hell is this? Am I on the edge of the map? That's BS. I need to get to my supplies over there. You know what? This is going to be super close, but I need to... Let's just do this. We're going to climb off. We're going to keep this on us. So just before we climb off and loot it, we can use one of these to heal and then we need to get back. Oh, no, 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 no. The wind's... It's the wind. It's the wind. Okay, so we should be able to reach it. Come on, come on. This lag is going to kill me though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, crap. This is Jaguar. Let's just do this. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's really messed up. The man of lag and on my bike is over there. I need to get out of it, out of it, out of it. No, 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 no. Don't kill me, please. What the hell is going on? Please, 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 please. Now, where is that lip? It's right there. Come on. The lag was so bad just now. I couldn't actually aim at it. It's still bad. No, 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 no. Okay, so, the lag is insanely bad, guys, and I just lost my motorcycle. Um, let's just do this. It's gonna help me at least kill this thing with this lag. I'm gonna have to restart my game just to be able to get it back now. And there's a zombie to the side of here. Let's just do that as well. That is seriously bad. This lag. I hate this lag. Okay, so, like I said just now, we're going to quickly stack up, or we're going to quickly first 
into the, or exit into the game. Whew, time is up, but I want to be able to quickly fetch that bag. I can't believe it's outside in the radiation zone. I might just turn on God mode to get it because that is really bullshit. I thought that the end of the map was marked by water, but that was radiation zone and I hit it without any warning. Oh man, that was close. I wonder if that's not what's conflicting in my game file at the moment. It's supposed to be water, but it's radiation zone like that. Because I am getting insane stutter. I joined the game and it's already lag. So let's see if I do this. We're going to do options. Video. Please, please, please. Quality. Tree quality is where? Do, 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 do. Tree quality. I'm going to put that on low. I mean, it's going to look real crap. But we need to be able to at least see. And then also, we're going to turn off sun shafts. That also adds to the lag a little bit. And let's see, if that doesn't help, I'm going to have to use God mode to get my stuff. Nope, that is still lag. So guys, I know it's cheating, but I'm going to use God mode. I can't afford to die. Well, then again, wait, it's starting to go fluidly again. If I can just get my loot and my mini bike over there. Okay, insane lag again. Yep, I think this area is bugged. I'm going to start getting the radiation thing again but hopefully we can survive this if not we're gonna have to use god mode my question now is though where's the radiation was it just wind blowing the radiation past or what was that that i'm sorry but that was bullshit okay so we're just gonna go back to the trader quickly and drop these off come on and see if we can accept the next mission Okay, we just have to get out of here because it is a little bit bugged now. I think this whole area over here is buggy. I should watch out before the game crashes. I move my mouse a little bit and I get a insane stutter. And the radiation is back. Yeah, this is definitely a bug, I think. Tell me, guys, if you've uh, encountered this before if, uh, or not. And yeah, is it just me? Is the game bugged? Just look at this lag. And I'm losing track of my motorcycle as well. Okay, so the lag seems to be gone a little bit now since I'm off my bike and over here. But yeah, that was really bad. I'm, I'm going to have to make sure we don't do any missions in that area. What is the coordinates of here? We're not even at the end of the map. That's way too far away from the end of the map to give me any kind of radiation. Oh, the radiation is to this side, which means I can't go down here. Look at this. I can't go down over here. So this whole line of here, I need to mark with X's or something to ensure that I don't accidentally go over. Because the game bugged out so bad just now when I went into that area. Okay, please trader, tell me you have something for me. And also, northeast you said, right? Gratitude. Okay, we need a beaker or iron gloves. Let's go for a beaker. And then, may I see inventory? Just going to sell this quickly. I'm going to get a real big amount. Oh no, sell price. Stun gun, sell that. Yeah, I'll come back okay, now. now, let's see. Do you have any jobs for me? Northeast of here. Northeast, nice. I laugh it's in the exact same building. Speed. Let's just check this out. I oh, know, it's further away from each other. That sucks. I should have taken a cl uh, closer one. Anyways, guys, I'm going to call an episode here. Just going to go back to the base and drop a few things off and grab my pickaxe. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips of feedback? What do you guys think about that lag, about the radiation? Anything at all, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.